Welcome back. And uh, you find us here in the only non-windy spot here in uh, Thorsby Hall. It's very, very windy conditions up here. And I've got with me one of the board riders, uh, Aidan. Hello. Like introduce yourself to everybody. Uh, I'm Beamish. Labanditos, border. Uh, just finished in the ring. Pretty knackered, pretty windy, hard conditions. Lots of ruts. It's been interesting. Um, tell uh, people watching a little bit about you, a little bit about yourself and uh, what you do and uh, where you're from. And so uh, I am, well, I come from a mountain building background, I've uh, been running mountain building internationals about three years. Are you currently the British downhill champion or something? No, I, I've had a couple of big wins, uh, last year didn't go as well, I got sixth in the Belgium Open uh, and I think got fourth overall last year in the uh, internationals. Um, been with Ambush last year, horseboarding, got introduced by uh, Lord, uh, uh, introduced by Charlie and Ross into the sport when they came down to the centre and uh, rode with Ambush last year. We're a new team, good team, really good like combination, me and Lloyd riding really well. Uh, didn't do too well this weekend, but it's first weekend riding. We've got a little bit of practice over winter. We're the only team in there that's never done a season. And to be fair, I'm really happy with how it's going. I'm not too fast going, not having runs, not doing runs. We're riding, we're showing we've got some speed and we, we can actually compete. You know, your boys are looking like you're having a lot of fun. Yeah. Even when you've stacked it on your third run this morning, oh, yeah. and you, you give it a high five in each other. And, yeah. It's all about the fun. If you're not having fun, there's no point doing it. So, so you competed last year in the novice group? Yeah, started group? in the novice. Yep. Uh, and we went up into the elite. Uh, then we went to the elite with Ambush. And then I was riding for uh, Mad Atters. Mm -hmm. for about half the season, helped them get their second as Mad Atta's overall team, uh, which was a big thanks to Ross for letting me, or trusting me with uh, his, one of his prize horses. So that was a great bit of experience, yeah. really progressed. Uh, it's been great fun really, we're progressing through the novices and we've gone straight into Elite this year, so it's been a big jump from a horse that's only done a few competitions straight from racing. I mean, when they started last year with Barkley, he was barely going around corners yeah, just because yeah, he was yeah. so used to going straight and now he's pinning corners, getting really fast, getting really nice through the weave. Lloyd's progressed so much through the winter, they both progressed really well together and I'm just going to add on to that so hopefully it this next well. See Lloyd's changes the entire riding style. He's, he's completely different. He's not sitting bolt up right, he's changed his positions no, of the he's, of his legs are down and everything. Up. He turned up in a racing saddle yeah, yeah, and he's now in yeah, a proper yeah. saddle. He's, it just shows how much he's changed, he's not in jockey stance anymore, he's got long stirrups and he's He's just showing how much he, how versatile he is in riding. Yeah. As we going on into the new section, now this is a point that I've just we've just come out of the ring. Yep. And it's something that really picked up in the ring was that the new wee section. It didn't seem to cause a problem yesterday, but today the board uh, board riders were really struggling getting around. Um, what's your opinion on the the weave, and why do you think it's making a big difference today? And it wasn't making such a difference yesterday. What what's your um, take on that? Well, firstly, I think it's a great new addition because we had it at Bowood and it worked really well. Uh, I think it's obviously got some teething problems just with setup, I think, mainly. I think what's happened is where we've moved some of the posts because of yesterday's awful ground, uh, where we've moved them out slightly, I think some of the markings may have been put in the wrong place. Uh, and as you come through the last part of the, the weave, the intersection of the weave on the top, you have to really pull back round on yourself to get in line with the gate because the finishing gate is slightly offset as well so you actually have to do more of a turn than you would normally so as you come around this top corner you're pulling right in on yourself and then you're pulling on yourself even more just to get to that finish gate and i think that that serious turn just after coming up and back around on yourself is more like a hairpin yeah. rather than just a corner it, it's maybe on a bigger course i wouldn't i think on a bigger course you have so much more space and so much of a longer area to run with you'd be fine but i think because it's been so rutted as well the only line that you can take when you're boarding, which I've noticed with me, Ryan, Ollie, and quite a few other riders have had the, all the same problem, is on the inside of the second gate, after that turn, yeah. you can only just get inside. And when you get inside of it, where it's been rutted up, there's a big area of ruts just next to the sound box. And if you can just about pull into that, you're gonna be slightly sketchy anyway. Yeah. And you hit that and it just pings you straight on. Which 
I'm at a different, pers 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 different perspective to you guys. Um, I'm noticing that your entry into the first corner is tight, which is then giving you that swing shot, which is making it a lot harder for you to come into that second corner, yeah. which is then putting you in completely the wrong place. Yeah. You are, say, in the position of the uh, gates might be wrong, but from my perspective, as an outsider and just looking at it, it looks very good because it's you're adding the extra technical aspect yeah. into everything. Well, it's a, it's a real hard one. We've got a 90 degree, but this is this is more than that. This is sort of a, a nearly a 180 degree turn because you're coming straight up on yourself and then come straight back down. So it's nearly a complete hairpin. So I think that's part of it where the horses are pulling you out and it's pinging you. As well, as but is this a bit just like Formula One? And when you watch Top Gear, you hear Jeremy Clarkson going on about the Top Gear guys, and they just saying like, um, "Oh, Formula One drivers have always got the excuses ready." Yes. Is this a little bit like you board drivers got the excuse ready? Rather than saying, "Let's adapt our style, let's ch let's change," are you throwing it towards the course and blaming the course I rather think, than thinking, well, "Can I adapt?" I think can the reason change? for today's big problems. Because if you look at yesterday, the weave didn't seem much of a problem. Everyone got through it relatively easily, other than the ruts and the weather. Everyone seemed to get through that course, that section, yep. quite fine. But I think just the way that it's been moved has caused an effect. I think obviously, as it's a new section and none of us are used to it, and it's the start of the season, it's a big change for us. It's that extra amount of time, so you've also got the fatigue. But I think and it's, it's right at the end of the beat course. It's right at the end of the beat course. So you're right at the end, your hands are killing, your legs are giving up. You just want to let go. You've got to get through that such a hard turn and it's such a hard technique to get, especially as we haven't been able to practice that much. That brings up two questions to me. The first of which is, should you be looking at training a little bit more to improve your core stability? And the second part of that question is, is the course B being on a heel side turn or a toe side turn where when it's on course A, it's a toe side turn and on the B side is yeah. it becomes a heel side turn. Is that having an effect? You're saying that the fatigue is having a big effect by the time you get to that end of the course. Yeah. Now, because you're on a heel side, toe side, is the coming in at a different angle, is that making much of a difference? For me, I find it easier. I found <laughs> today I didn't get round, but we got further round than we did yesterday. Yeah. Um, for me, because I'm in regular, I'm a regular stance, so I'm left foot forwards. So generally on the B course, I'm predominantly toe side turns. So toe side turns generally are a bit easier because you can use the rope to pull down on and hold your balance and you can get a little, more, little bit more stability around the corners. Whereas on A, I struggle a bit more, whereas most of the riders you'll see are goofy, so they're right foot forward. So for A course, they're generally toe side, so they'll find it a lot easier. Whereas on B course, you'll find them a lot struggling. So whereas you see dead pigeons have gone from a third yesterday or a fourth yesterday, they're now in first. Yeah, in first yeah. Ross is a regular rider. Ross has put his left foot first, so B is his better course because it's his toe side more predominantly. Yeah. And I think part of what you're saying with uh, the fatigue as well is on B course, the last thing all you have to do is one big loop all the way yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. all you have to do, you just have to worry about the one big loop. There's not really a technical aspect right at the end. Yeah. Whereas on B course, you find you've got a little bit of technical at the beginning and then more of the technical section comes in towards the end where you've got that weave at the top and you've got the 90 degree. So you find you've got some of the harder technical sections further to the end of the course. But I like that. I, I, no, it, it I, I like it that. Really it, adds, it adds to something. Yeah, because you can really go for it at the start, yeah. as we did. Let it go at the start, and then you've got to get yourself a bit more and then you, a little bit more speed. Especially on a course like that with those reps, and you're trying to constantly compensate then your arms in and out, yeah. in and out, and then that fatigue is just there. But that's what I really no, like about the, the, the new little bit, is that little Yeah. Will you contemplate? A little bit of training? Is yeah, we've, we've done a little bit of training. Uh, unfortunately, we are at a bit of a distance from each other, and for the moment, we are speaking to uh, certain people about trying to get some sort of grounds to train on. Because mm -hmm. all we've really done so far is just general field work, and uh, we've done a little bit of straight line work. We haven't been able to really get in and do technical work yet, yeah. um, because obviously the school is quite small, and the large area that we were in was quite rutted as well. So. We didn't really want to do too much technical because it's quite wet and quite boggy. So when we get a bit more of an area, we will definitely be practicing the technical side. We'll be definitely pushing it as much as we can. I very much look forward to seeing you guys uh, progressing through the season. So all the best to uh, La Banditos for the rest of the year and to Lloyd, our cameraman, and uh, Aidan. And uh, we'll talk to you a little bit further on down the season. La Banditos!